So, hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Capis. Sun, Moon, Venus rising and keep that in mind that this is a general reading and uh, the roles can be reversed anytime. This is a reading from 2nd of Jan till the 8th of Jan. So, let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are, let's see Capis. Your partner's current feelings for you right now. Hierophant, okay, that's beautiful. Eight of Swords. Somebody is uh, constantly thinking about you, about the situation, about a commitment or a marriage. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant is telling me that this person might be feeling a very spiritual level of deep kind of connection with you, or they might be simply uh, thinking a lot about a commitment or long term future of a connection with you. Let's clarify this, uh, clarify this Hierophant energy, and this is Taurus energy. Let's see what is happening. Devil and Six of Pentacles Judgment card. Capricorn, this is your energy only. A Taurus person uh, or somebody who is having a uh, Taurus in their chart. You know, Sun, Moon or Venus are rising. This person definitely feels like they should come forward towards you. Uh, like the signs can be changed also. Like go with the energies only. But I told you that might be this person is having lots of Taurus energy in their chart. Or they are very fixated kind of person. Stubborn kind of person. This is somebody who is definitely feeling like they should come forward towards you. For a second chance to make this connection work out. To have balance in this connection. To have balance in this relationship between you and them. Wow. So uh, Capricorn, somebody is very much interested in having a second chance with you. And uh, asking for forgiveness. And uh, trying to balance out things with you. In this situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn energy and Taurus. Lots of Taurus energy. I'm telling you. Earth energy. Let's see what do you feel about this person or this situation right now, Cappy. <coughs> Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so you have a love and care for this person. And you might be hiding this from them. Or you're simply trying to, you know, shift your focus on yourself, your love, your self-love and healing. So you, you still feel the partnership in this connection. I have to clarify this. Might be a third party situation or might be you are trying to work on this partnership with them. Let's clarify this three of pentacles. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. King of Wands, Hermit and the Queen of Wands. Yeah. So you feel like this connection should work out, right? You feel like you are more than willing to put in the effort and energy for this connection, for this uh, relationship, for this partnership to work out. But uh, you feel like the male counterpart or the male energy the masculine energy in this connection should think about the fe uh, like feminine energy. Or it could simply mean that the person who is more logical in this connection should use their heart also along with the mind. You definitely Capricorn, you definitely feel like this relationship is m like match made in heaven kind of energy. You definitely feel like there should be a direction to this relationship or connection. And <clears throat> I don't see very much of love but I do see very much of attraction. A lot of attraction, a lot of infatuated kind of energy. But you still feel like this partnership is kind of a match made in heaven. Both of you are equally passionate and made for each other. And uh, uh, the masculine energy should balance out with the feminine energy. This is the answer. This is the most accurate description that I can do for this situation right now. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and Virgo. Let's see what this person wants from you or from this situation right now, Cappies. <clears throat> Not feeling well today, but it's okay. Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely this person wants to make this connection work out and move on towards karma water. Better future. Finding out a resolution, peaceful solution to a problem that's bothering both of you. That's uh, impacting this connection or relationship. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius Energy. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Strength card and the High Priestess. Yes. Queen of Cups. This person wants to heal this situation. This person wants to uh, tackle this situation with maturity. Uh, with, with this knowledge uh, that, okay, whatever happened in the past was a lesson. We have to learn from the past and we have to move forward. They want to remove the stressful energy from this situation. Somebody is constantly thinking about this situation. And constantly thinking about how to improve the situation, right? 
so this is somebody who is not might be ta- who is might be not talking to you or they are very silent these days there's a distance between you guys physical distance or emotional distance i don't know but there's a distance between you guys this person is definitely trying to make things work out or to find a solution to the problem but right now all they want is space and time to understand how to do that okay they need time they need space and they just want to gather the knowledge about how to resolve a issue resolve uh, the conflict between two partners two person two people so that uh, the relationship is going smoothly okay got it they need time to get out of this uh, conflicted situation and make sense to this connection let's see what do we want from this person or this situation right now capis Ace of Wands. You want to have a brand new opportunity. You want this person to take some kind of action. Again, Capy, I feel like you are kind of very much attracted to this person. In some cases, you are kind of addicted to this person. You definitely want to have this physical connection with them. I don't know about the emotional connection. To be honest with you, Capys, you are so much attracted to them physically that you want this person to take some kind of action towards you so that at least you guys can indulge in the physical activities. You know. I am not saying that you are kind of a lusty person or you are a bad person or you are a bad bitch or bad uh, dog or something. No, it's it's kind of a human nature. We get attracted to something that is not good for us. It's it's human nature. Something that's difficult. Something that's not that much easy to achieve. It's human nature that we get attracted to such things, right? So this is happening with you. You want this person to start a brand new chapter with you, if not emotionally, at least physically. Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah, okay, you might be saying, no, ma'am, I love this person, and yes, yeah, uh, blah blah blah, and all this. I understand. Sometimes we don't understand that physical attraction and infatuation is so much heavy on our uh, uh, like heart and soul. We are not able to understand whether this is love or whether this is just infatuation. So, in your case, that's happening with you. You want this person so badly because you are so much attached. attracted to their energy because they are this is a very complicated person to deal with that's why the more they are doing all this the more you are getting attracted to this energy lovers and four of cups and the emperor see you want this person to take a decision make a decision for this situation uh, for this confusing situation actually even if the decision is very hard to make you want a particular situation to open up with you right even if it means that this is very hard to achieve or this relationship is very hard to keep or the future of this connection is not that much defined you want this person definitely to take some kind of action towards the situation and remove this confusing energy from this situation and take the charge of the situation okay you basically want this person to break the silence start talking to you start this connection with you again i don't see emotional bonding honestly i do see lots of physical bonding physical kind of energy so you're dealing with somebody who is trying to make this uh, situation spiritually connected one of you is very much spiritually connected to, uh, to the other energy the other person is kind of very much attracted to this energy of uh, mystery and suspicion kind of and being complicated this is not a healthy thing actually Now it's up to you honey what you're going to do about it but I don't recommend this uh, unhealthy energy to you know keep on carrying forward this unhealthy energy I don't recommend it Let's see what's the outcome of the situation What will be the outcome of the situation till the 8th of January 3 of wands and death card something is ending here transforming actually So somebody is going to just wait for the other person I don't see reunion I don't see reconciliation honestly somebody is going to turn the back towards the situation you or that person let's clarify this three of wands see the more you are going to be desperate about this the more this person or the situation is going to run away from you so you have to loosen up you have to detach you have to let go let's clarify this three of wands as the potential outcome two of swords three of wands again in the page of pentacles i feel like uh, you will be blindly waiting for this person's message or text or communication blindly blindly i'm telling you because you are not uh, even you don't know what is the future of this connection or what could be the future of this connection or relationship you are just waiting you know 
you just want this person to open up with you start the friendship kind of energy with you and let's see uh, like again uh, you want this person to come uh, come in your life anyhow see the roles can be reversed also could be the other person feeling like this for you but right now i'm picking your energies that you want this person so desperately in your life you are just blindly following the uh, might be law, law of attraction techniques or spell work or something like this to make this person come towards you so the outcome is just blindly waiting for the message or communication or for this person to come back around yes let's see what is the guidance for you for this week this card like literally gem, jumped for you this is the angel guidance ace of ariel it's your lucky day new resources of money time or support a change in job or promotion so it came for your career it's not related to actually uh, uh, the love life it's related to a career so a very good time in your career is coming capricorn so make use uh, make, i feel like the universe wants me to tell you that you should uh, right now focus on the money job career part rather than this emotional trauma emotional drama that's uh, happening behind the scenes for you so just take charge of your uh, career this week right and let it go i know it's not easy but this is the only solution that we have for this okay so thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste